yeah, and we were talking about, like, you know, what are the next cross track mods you're going to do? And I was like, you know what's better than three brake lights? Four. <laughs> <laughs> What's up underdogs? It's me, your boy Eric, and welcome back to the channel. And we're back again for another cross track mod. And this time it's it's kind of a silly thing to do, adding another brake light on top of your three brake lights. But uh it is what it is. <laughs> so one of the good things about Subaru is that starting 2016, they created this thing called Subaru Global Platform. So for example, the Subaru Cross Track actually has a few parts that you can take from an Impreza, which is basically a lowered cross track, and you know, use it for this vehicle. And you can exchange a few parts, which is really nice. So I was like, there is this weird part on my rear bumper that is just kind of missing a little bit of, you know? So I was like, let's look a uh, fourth brake light for WRX STI because I've noticed that they have the same little notch on the bottom. So yeah, I found one and we're gonna install that. So let's just cut to the chase. Let's just do it. <laughs> So you know you don't actually hurt yourself. <laughs> so this is actually the part that I want to replace. See, it's just so awkward. It's just there. You know what? Might as well put another light there. So I got this from eBay. It was like less than a hundred bucks. I think it was like 50, 70 bucks. I don't know. I totally forgot. And it's pretty neat. It's kind of like an F1 style fourth brake light on like Subaru WRXs and STIs. So here it is. And as you can see, I, I believe this is the, the brake light and this is the uh, b -b 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 reverse. It also came with some, some clips and some clamp taps. I don't know what they're called. And additional bulbs. I don't know fairly straightforward so let's get to it anyway so we're underneath the cross track I don't know if it's gonna show you there it is this one is the place hold the current placeholder so to get an act like a good access to this take these tabs off there's so there's one here there's another one here it'll have enough flex for it to go down so we can like unclip those two tabs underneath okay okay Okay, so I got it off, right? These are the tabs that you want to remove, these two. And as you push them, you want to push this one off too. So much little rocks, so much pebbles. So now this one is free. We can install this bad boy. So before installing this, you want to remove these two screws in the back plate because this is how you're going to secure this fork brake light on that slot. Boom. So this light is meant for a WRX or an SCI. As you can see, it fits the shape, but uh, if you look closer, it you know there's a little notch there that uh, makes it look like it doesn't fit. Plus, that back piece doesn't exist on WRX STIs. So the problem that I came across is that these screws holding this back plate to hold this uh, in place to mount it uh, is too short. So we're gonna use a longer machine screw. You know, I got this from Home Depot. I've had it for a long time. It's just in my toolbox and it's just waiting. So now it's being used, so that's great. Um, these machine screws are one for 20 by one and a half. Uh, it's basically the same, just longer and uh, with a different head.
So it's there, great. It's mounted. We just gotta route these wires to either of these two taillights. That's that's where the power is going to happen. So if you hit break there, this one goes break. If you go in reverse, this one goes on reverse. So we need to pull this out first. We need two 10 mil bolts, pop them out, and we can remove the taillight. So here's the game plan. We got a tail light out. We're just gonna tap those wires with these wires. So before you route the wires going up for your tail lights, I recommend you to wrap it with electric tape or any anything that would protect the wires because they're susceptible to breaking with the environmental elements like ice, snow, salt, dirt, pebbles, rock. So you just wanna make sure that they're protected with something like a wire sleeve or you know electrical tape so i'm just going to do that quickly before i route it up there i finished wrapping it with electrical tape so we're going to route this up here going to this side and out to that little hole there. How are we going to do that? We're gonna use this rope. We're just gonna feed it. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Plastic rope? No, it's not a rope. Go down here. So, and it should go up above here. And then we're going to tie these together. And then we're just going to pull this and hope for the best that it doesn't come off. All right, there she goes. Now we're going to tap these four wires using these clamps, tap, tap clamps, I don't know. So there's these two holes where each wire goes together and then we're going to close it like so and then press it together. Eventually. All right, so it took a little bit of uh, figuring out which wire goes for which, and I tapped them appropriately. I don't really like using these because sometimes the connections are not the greatest. Now we just gotta see if it actually works. Oh, and obviously you're probably gonna ask, which wire goes which, Eric? Well, I'm just gonna post it right over here. There you go. See, easy peasy, just in case that you're wondering and just in case you want to do this to your cross track right well the fitment is not the greatest but i will have to make something to make sure that this one fits perfectly like primo i'm not gonna put this back all the way in just in case that things are not going well So I had a little bit of setback because I wasn't sure which wire goes to which. Um, I will ask my girlfriend again to tell me if it's working. Okay, so now everything is buttoned up and then we're gonna put back the tail light and make sure those things don't fall apart and golden. All right? I'm sorry, this is not the most satisfying peel ever. <laughs> All right, folks, so that's it for this mod. It's kind of a janky way to do it, but it works. I mean, if it works, it's not stupid, right? So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Go down there, hit the subscribe button, add a notification bell so you know when I'm going to be uploading new videos for you guys. So I'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy, folks. Yeah.